All right, in this video, we're looking at how to do a do loop. Um, a do loop tests the, the condition after we've already gone through the statements once, whereas a well loop, remember, it would test to see if the condition is true and then iterate the loops. Uh, so this is just more of a post-test loop where we're testing the condition after the statements, whereas the, the, the while loop was considered a pre-test loop because before entering the loop, you actually test the condition beforehand. Um, important to note here, uh, this is the structure of how to make a do loop. Um, notice there's a semicolon here after the, the test condition. Uh, the while loops don't have that, but the do loops do. Um, so just make sure you're always paying attention to that because that can give you a ton of headaches if you forget this little semicolon here. And uh, this only applies for do loops. Okay, so uh, do loops are actually really good for something like input validation. Um, whereas if we want to um, maybe prompt a user to put in a four digit pin number, but they accidentally type in a five digit, it's going to give them the opportunity to give you know the right numbers. Uh, and if they're wrong, it'll just prompt them to do it again. Whereas if we were using a well loop, it's testing them before they've even entered anything and it just doesn't work as well. So we can do that example right now. We can just, uh, let's create a string and call it the pin. So this will be the pin number, and you'll see why we use a string instead of a, an integer right away, because we can actually find the length of a string really easily. So uh, inside of our loop, we will have our computer ask them to, or we'll ask them to enter a four-digit pin number. Please enter a four-digit pin. Okay, simple enough. And then the user will, in fact, enter the pin. All right, so now um, if uh, we want them to actually enter a four digit, but if they if we want them, if they don't enter a four digit, like if it's less than four or more than four, we want to redo the loop. So for those condition to be true, we can use our dot, no, uh, dot notation here to have pin dot length. Remember, this is from our string video. This is just the value of how long the the string they've entered is, how many characters long it is. So if it is less than four, or if pin dot length is greater than four, if either of these are true, do the loop over again, right? That's how the loop works. So and uh, so if it's less than four, we'll ask them again. If the number they've entered is uh, more than four digits, we'll ask them again. So the only remaining option is if it is exactly four digits long, then we'll kick us out of the loop and we can continue on with the program. So again, we can just say C out something really simple like pin accepted. All right, and we can just end the line like that. And there we go. So we'll just compile this and uh, we'll get right to it. I think we're missing a semicolon there. Yeah, we are. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go into a program now. We're gonna run it and let's look at this. So, and please enter a four digit pin. So if we entered one digit, it didn't work. If we entered two digits, it didn't work. Three digits, but what if we entered five digits? Still doesn't work. And one, two, three, four digits. There we go, pin accepted. Um, so there we go. That's a quick introduction to do loops and uh, why they're just really good for input validation specifically. So I'll see you guys in the next video and we'll take a look at four loops.